Isaiah chapter 46, verse 8. Remember this and show yourselves men. Bring it again to mind, O ye transgressors. Remember the former things of old, for I am the Most High, and there is none else. I am the Most High, and there is none like me, declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times to the things that are not yet done, saying, My counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasure. So first and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles, great millstone who rule well. And salutations to you, Akim, teaching and preaching in the name of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. To you, I say Shalom. Also to the sincere Aqua, listening and learning. To you, I say Shalom. So this video is going to be entitled, The Heavenly Father's Console Will Stand. Because we're in these times where everyone is panicking, everyone is confused, and and they don't understand what what this society is 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 where it's heading to, you know, with this so-called coronavirus, people losing their jobs, people losing their businesses. Right, America is is taking a heavy blow. Right, due to the, due to this so-called virus, man, and ultimately it's the Heavenly Father because of His counsel, man. He 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 told us through the Holy Scriptures, through His His holy apostles, right, starting with the men of Great Millstone on down, that there will be uh, grinding or a uh, lack of grinding, right. There will be a famine. There will be a pestilence, plagues, earthquakes in diverse places. All of these things have been prophesied unto us. And, and this is all the counsel of the Lord, man. And no matter what someone says, no, one, no matter what someone thinks, whatever the Heavenly Father speaks is going to come to pass, man. So I'm going to read this, this, this again. This is Isaiah 46 and... And nine, it says, remember the former things of old, for I am the most high and there is none else. So the heavenly father is, is, is the top. He's the head, right? He ruleth in the kingdom of men. He, he dwelleth in the heavens, right? The scriptures say that heaven is my throne and the earth is my footstool. It says, I am the most high and there's none like me. So there's no, there's nothing like Yahweh, man. There's nothing like Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Even Yahweh Shai didn't put himself on, on equal level or equal basis as the Heavenly Father. He obeys the Heavenly Father just as much as we, right? He said, uh, hey, let thy will be done. Verse 10, declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times, the things that are not yet done, saying, my counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure. So the heavenly Father said, "His counsel, His counsel, it's lucky. His counsel shall stand." That means, um, if He says that this devil is going to come down with wrath, right? Because He knoweth He have a short time. Hey, this devil is going to come down with wrath. If He says that that um, two thirds is going to get cut off and die on this side, two thirds are going to get cut off and die on this side. If He said that, hey. There's going to be a famine, a pestilence, and earthquakes. Those things will happen, man. But he also said that, hey, we should not fear. He also said that he will protect us. That he will hold our right hand with the right hand of his righteousness. Grab the next precept. This is Acts chapter 5. And I'm going to start at verse... Um, I'm going to start at 38. Get the point. Acts 5 and 38. And now I say unto you, refrain from these men and let them alone. For if this counsel or this work be of men, it will come to naught. But if it be of the most high, ye cannot overthrow it. Lest happily ye be found even to fight against the most high. So, hey, um, in this instance, you had certain men trying to persuade through violence, 
men of the Lord and convinced them to not speak or preach in the name of Yahweh Shai. But hey, uh, he said what? Hey, refrain from these men. You can't tell them what to do, right? Because hey, if this is of man, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be stopped, right? But if this is of the most high, you can't fight against it. The scriptures say who can, who can fight against his will or who resisted his will? No, no man on this earth can resist the will of it. Yahweh Shimei Shah, man. One way or another, you are going to fulfill his prophecies. Whether you think you're doing what you're doing because you thought you wanted to do it, the Heavenly Father put that thought in your head. Right? And that's why, hey, that's why we, we are blessed to have this understanding. We are blessed to, to know the name of the Lord, man. To know his secrets, man. The things that he has revealed to us. This is First Peter, chapter 1, in uh, verse 22. It says, Seeing ye have purified your souls in obeying the truth through the spirit of unfeigned love of the brethren, see that ye love one another with a pure heart fervently. And that's what we do in the brotherhood, man. Right? This is a part of the, the counsel of the Lord, that we show brotherly love. Right? Unfeigned love, man. Make sure this is recording. Okay. <clears throat> so last time my audio wasn't recording But um Yeah continuing on verse 23 Being born again Not of corruptible seed But of incorruptible By the word of the most high Which liveth and abideth forever So that hey, We are not of that corruptible seed Lord willing Right, We don't want to have that Judas spirit we want to be of the incorruptible, right? We want to be the, the, the children of the chosen, right? The, the, the chosen, um, the Israel of God. That's what we want to be. That's what we pray to be, right? And that, and that seed, that seed is the word, man, right? Because if you go to Luke 8 and 11, it says that the, the, the seed is the word of God. So we, we have planted the seed, right? Some by the wayside, some by uh, on the rocks, some um, among thorns, but in some in good ground. And a hey, look at the fruit. You have millions and, and uh, millions of, of, of men reclaiming their heritage, calling themselves Israelites, right? Keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. You have uh, brothers, right, oh, hey, that you labor with on the highways and byways. All this is through the fear of the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai waking up uh, his men, right, that the spirit of life. Let me grab that real quick. Revelations 11 and 8. Um, and their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. Where also our Lord was crucified. So those dead bodies is talking about Israel. Right? And that um, great city is Babylon. A.K.A. America. It says which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. Because what? You got um, gay rights. Right? Homosexuals and, 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 and freaks. And all kinds of abominations walking the streets. And this is also spiritually e uh, Egypt. Why? Because of the hard bondage, taxes. It says where also our Lord was crucified. Our Lord was crucified, right? Not in America, but his image was crucified, right? They painted it. They painted over his image with the uh, Caesar Borgia, right? That's how he, he was. Uh, that word crucified goes back to being X'd out or crossed out. That means... That they, they completely removed what the Lord stood for, man. God loves everybody. John 3, 16. Hey, you, you notice that people don't scream that out no more. You don't hear, you don't hear John 3, 16 no more. <laughs> Verse 9, it says, And they of the people 
and kindreds and tongues and nations shall see their dead bodies three days and a half and shall not suffer their dead bodies to be put in graves. So these other nations, they saw us, man. They knew. Oh, yeah. Look, look at them black people. You know, serving slavery. Being beat, being killed, hung. Misused. Right? And they didn't suffer us to be uh, put in our graves, man. They, they didn't tell us we were Israelites. They didn't tell us uh, should, uh, we should repent and, and, and seek the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, by Shimei Shai, to, to come back to our law, statutes, and commandments, and, and to, to walk in righteousness. They didn't, they didn't tell us that. Hey, they, they watched, and they laughed. Look, verse 10, And they that dwelled upon the earth shall rejoice over them, and make merry, and shall send gifts one to another. So they were sending gifts, right? Picnics, postcards, all those things. They they, they came from um, the 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 abuse of Jake, man. Postcards. They were a hey, back in the day. They would hang a Jake, take a picture of it, and and send that picture to uh, their family members wherever it was cross state shit down the block wherever it was right and picnics we know what that goes back to pick a nick right you would pick a a, a a jig pick a nigga to to hang and eat afterwards man and and just watch his body dangle or, or on a tree verse 11 it says and after three days and I have the spirit of life from the most high entered into them and they stood upon their feet and great fear fell upon them. So now, after all of that mistreatment, after all of that pain and suffering, we have stood upon our feet, man. The Heavenly Father put the spirit of life within us, right? Ezekiel, the 37 chapter says the dry bones, what, what they, they receive skin, flesh, and sinews. And the Heavenly Father told Ezekiel to prophesy unto the wind that we may have breath and live. So that was the, the, the counsel of the Lord, man, and it stood. Now you have men on the highways and byways standing bold, right? Proverbs, what's that, 28? The righteous are as bold as the lion, uh, the wicked flee when no man pursueth, right? And the wicked is fleeing, man. They're trying to uh, degrade the name of, of Israel, calling us black Hebrew Israelites, and, you know, all that folly, right? You grab this. This is Isaiah. Isaiah 34 and 16. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. No one of these things shall fail. None shall want her mate. For my mouth it hath commanded, and his spirit it hath gathered them. So you, we seek through the, the Holy Scriptures, right? Because this is the book of the Lord, man. This is the book of Yahweh. He wrote uh, these scriptures through holy men. Right, starting with Moses, he wrote the five, the first five books. And and as time progressed, you had holy men and scribes who wrote down the prophecies of Yahweh Shimei Shai. Right, it says none shall want her mate. That means you can't match this book to any book: the Quran, the Book of Mormon, the Book of Jasher, the Book of Enoch, whatever, whatever. Right, no book can compare to the Holy Bible. That's why you, you um, people always quote scriptures, man, Psalms and Proverbs, because it's, hey, this is this is the way of life, man. The Heavenly Father has hey, this is our covenant that the Heavenly Father made with us, man. Um, right. It says my mouth that had commanded and his spirit had gathered them. So when we went on the highways and byways, starting with the men of Great Millstone, the elders and apostles, right. They commanded, but the spirit of the Lord did the gathering. You had men walk past, scoff, mock, but then you had one, two or three sincere, you know, brothers walk up, get edified, and then, hey, kept coming back, kept learning, kept growing. And then they started teaching. They started preaching. That's the spirit of the Lord, man. Let me grab this. Revelation chapter 1 verse 3 Blessed is he that readeth 
and they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein for the time is at hand. So blessed is he that readeth. And when you read, man, you learn. And when you learn these scriptures, man, it's life. The scriptures say, uh, Yahweh Shai said, uh, search the scriptures for in them ye, ye think ye have eternal life. Right? And when you hear the prophecies, uh, this this book, right? Re uh, Isaiah 14 chapter, Revelation 13 chapter, verse 9 and 10, Revelation 18, Revelation 20 and 21. When you hear these prophecies, man, hey, even the mark of the beast, right? You hear these prophecies, man, hey, something clicks, man. Yo, what? So-called white man is Edomites. They going into slavery because of what they did to us? Give her double? Even double? All these all these things are going to stand, man. Y'all by Shimei Ashai, the scriptures say, the heavenly father is not mocked. So whatsoever a man sowed that shall he reap, that's going to stand, man. These devils did nothing but shed our blood on this, on this earth, especially in America. That's why this place has to be burnt, man. It's, it has to be cleaned, cleansed, and it, it will never be uh, inhabited again. And a lot of people don't like hearing that, man. Why? Because they have a lot of invested in this, in this, um, uh, in this place, in this, in this system, right? I had another precept, but I don't think this is it. No, this isn't it. Um. Oh, Salakia. It was 13. <clears throat> God, this is it. Um, Matthew chapter 13. I'm going to start at 16. But blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. For verily I say unto you, that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which ye see, and have not seen them. And to hear those things which ye hear and have not heard them. So, hey, you had different prophets, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, Ezra, right? That wanted to understand what the Heavenly Father had planned for this earth, for the people, for his people, right? But they didn't get to see it in their time. But we get to see it, man. We see that this devil's setting up his market to be system. He's setting up the chip. He's setting up his new world order. Right. We see Israel waking up. We see um, the nation who's not desired gathering together, being brotherly, showing brotherly love. We see these things, man. Right. They, even David said how how uh, wonderful it is to see brothers dwelling in unity, man. All in one sink. Right. All in the spirit. There's nothing like it. So the Heavenly Father's counsel is going to stand. At the end of the day, hey, the Heavenly Father has an elect. He's going to save that elect. And hey, all we can do is hope and pray that we're a part of His will, a part of His plan. So I'm going to end it on that. Lord willing, it was that a fine and faith boosting. Call hello, I am like Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakodash, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, who rule well. And salutations to all you Akim. Stay up, pray up, never give up. Shalom.